My personal relationship with gardening has evolved kind of with the garden center. <laughs> For me, the beauty being in the garden center business, I love plants, I love all plants. And so it has afforded me access to uh, ideas and plants that uh, probably I would not have noticed or not been aware of or not learned about had I not been active in the business. I, I think each environment uh, that a garden center is located in is kind of a unique environment. So within a 20 mile or so range of this store, it, the environment is unique. So the plants that grow here are unique. And searching for the right ones have always been very important to me. I think it goes back again to my childhood. My uncle uh, had a small backyard garden and he planted fruit trees. He was all excited about those fruit trees. He had six nice fruit trees that he was growing back there. Cause, and uh, a after about six years of having those trees, I went to visit him one time and the trees were gone. I said, what happened to the trees? He said, you know, I spent all that time and grew those trees out and that fruit wasn't any good. So I took them all out. And I'm thinking, what, what a tragedy, what a shame to work for six years to grow a plant, to spend the money and the time and the effort, and then have failure because of poor quality fruit. So the garden center has enabled me to search for the best of what will grow in this region. Because I, um, I, I think Gardening success is by far the most important thing. If, if a customer is successful at gardening, then we'll be successful as a business. So I'm constantly searching for what is the best plant and what's the best variety. And, uh, this, this <laughs> I evolve, I change all the time, but uh, the past two years I've been very actively food gardening. And what are, what are the best things to grow is food crops. So this year I've had a big vegetable garden, about 5,000 square feet, which is big for a little homeowner garden. And, and I've produced a wide variety of uh, vegetables throughout the season. In fact, uh, this past week I planted about 300 strawberries. So we're going to eat strawberries next spring.